Hey everyone, it's Miranda Patron back here with you. I have been so thankful for all of your well wishes and encouragement throughout this time. It's just amazing the sense of community you get from being on Facebook or the art community or Instagram, all of this. So I, I really just can't tell you what a blessing you have all been and how amazing it feels just to have so much support and encouragement throughout all this. Um, my surgery went well. I'm feeling awesome. Um, I still have to take it a little slow for a bit, but thankfully I can still lift a paintbrush <laughs> and the dotting tools. So maybe not a bunch of stones, but we'll work our way up to that. So today I thought it would be good if I finally got around to showing you the the silver that I've been using um, that is like a mirror. So you know we have multiple silvers from Decoart. There's Silver Morning, I have Slate Gray. There was also a Folk Art Gun Metal that was pretty good. The Decoart Extreme Sheen Silver is pretty amazing. But <laughs> none of them give off the mirrored effect of this silver paint. So this one I did a couple coats on. Uh, so it is shinier than it would be just with one coat, but even with one coat, I think like these ones are two coats, but like the S's and the outline, and those are even varnished over, which this paint says you probably shouldn't varnish over because it will lose some of its luster. But I did varnish over the flower petal lines and they're still very shiny but the large dots you can see yourself in <laughs> and the flower and this is from a company called Molotow I think I want to say Terry Rushford forgive me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure it was Terry Rushford guessed this asked if they were from there so you were on the money shout out to Terry you got it right um, I just wasn't prepared to do a video at this point for it, and I totally appreciate you guys being patient with that. Um, you do, I have a bottle of it where I can just pour it in the palette. So I have it here, and then you can just pour it in the palette. Use your dotting tools or your brush. Um, however, <laughs> something else I found from this company is they make them in the paint markers. So. It's called Liquid Chrome from Molotow, and I'll post a link in my description for you, but they have multiple sized markers, paint pens. They're mostly like, people use them for graffiti or models where, you know, the figurines and stuff like that where people want the, the action figures really shiny or whatever, the metal on a, on a sword really shiny or um, model cars, things like that. So. You get to kind of think out the box, outside the box of our normal dotting world a little bit, and this is what we have found. So, the liquid chrome is what I was using. So I'm just sketching out a quick dolphin here um, to just show you quickly how shiny they are. And now, just be aware on other porous surfaces like the handmade stones or a canvas or I guess just something that's more porous than a rock uh, you're going to have a little bit of absorption from them so they're a shake and pump type marker so you shake it up this is the middle size that I have I believe this is two millimeters yeah two millimeters so you have a two millimeter, I have a four millimeter, and then I have a one millimeter. And the one millimeter really does fine work. It's teeny tiny. Um, so you can use that to do all sorts of detail work. People doing Zen tangles, um, any of the small artwork in the center of something, or outlining or just I, mean, I can't even think of all the ways you could be using it right now <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use it to outline our little dolphin here and just start to give her a little color here on 
these lovely Santorini stones from Cap Couriers. That's another place if you haven't heard me talk about that has wonderful products, capcouriers.com, and they are on Amazon also. Um, they sell a variety of stones, um, everything from speckled to these white flat rocks to pink and green. They were a landscape company, I believe, and now they are really, really trying to help out daughters with their supplies. So. But you can see it's really fluid, so it takes a little bit of working with. I think this one is giving me a problem here. Just let me prime it again. Plus I'm, I'm rushing, because I'm so excited to tell you guys about this, and I appreciate your patience again, with how much time has passed since I've used them, and I know it seems like sometimes I'm silent about it, but I really wanted to do a video to show and explain and put the link for everyone before I just go blurting it out to everybody. So I have to say also the meds that I'm are on, I'm on <laughs> don't make my hands as steady as I would like them to be, but you get the idea of where we're going with this. Gonna be one nice shiny little dolphin on this nice speckly stone. So I'm just gonna outline with the the one millimeter one, and then I'll go back and do the fill in. I guess with the paper. Well, I can use probably the larger marker. I just usually use a paintbrush, but you can probably use the large marker here but you can see already how awesome and shiny that little guy is so this is nice and primed yep there we go and so it you know just takes a little work to stay in your lines that you give for yourself um, it's also really fluid. Like I said, it will absorb, but on these nice natural stones, they're not, it's not gonna soak up as much. So you probably, even after one coat, are gonna be able to see how awesome and shiny this is. I mean, just think of the possibilities here, the shiny moonlight, or a mermaid's tail, or I did a whale recently, and I thought about using these, but I went with the traditional blues that I had chosen instead. But I'm sure you guys are going to come up with tons of amazing uses for this, and I'm going to enjoy watching all of it being created, because... It's so neat to see the differences in all of our, you know, your mind, the way your mind works. Just the artistic inspiration from each different person. But you can see already, ooh, shiny. I'm just trying to fill in the little, there's a couple little holes here in the stone. But it's easy to grip the pens too. This one's a little fatter, so if you have trouble with a grip, this one's a little bit easier. And there we go. That's just the first coat of this awesome liquid chrome. So it'll dry flatter and shinier, but we will put another coat on so you'll get to see what another coat will do for this, the mirrored effect of this. And there's sprays out there with mirrored effect. I have a couple of those, but I found they only work on the glass really well. I haven't been able to get it to work well on stone. But you know me, I'm trying everything. <laughs> So we'll let this guy dry and put another coat on and see what we look what we have after. All right, so you can see our little guy is dry now, and 
you know, the, this stone maybe is a little more porous than the other ones, but you can see he's pretty shiny. That's one thing you don't want to do is put fingerprints on it. <laughs> but this is just one coat, and then I'm going to put another coat on him now so that you can see how they start to get that mirror level of shininess. And it takes a little bit on some of them, this one. This one I actually varnished over because I wanted to see if it would still be really nice and shiny. And it is. <laughs> and this one's been handled quite a bit throughout my classes and stuff. People like to look at examples of what they can do. So even with being handled quite a bit, it's under the varnish. And then also I have done this little guy here. Which I think came out really nice. I like this is one of my favorites. And you can see it, it's still mirror mirror like on the sides. And the only varnish that I used over it was the Liquitex. Uh, none of the other ones keep its shine. So these are not varnished, but to keep the mirror effect more, it's easier if you don't varnish it. But then you have to debate whether or not you want to risk your stones being unvarnished. So they definitely can't go outside. All right, so we have my second coat on. And you can see now it's much more mirror-like. And when it dries, it will be. My lighting is a little rough here, but. The more fluid you get it, the less marks you have. And a smaller, more defined space, too, is easier if you're doing dots or like this flower here. So we'll see, let's see if we can keep it confined here on our, our little stone. I have one of the Cap Courier's flat painting rocks that they have. And I'm just gonna show you how you can dot with it too, so kind of. <laughs> So there would be our center. And then you could go to a different size because they're different millimeters. So we have our other size, one millimeter, and then the two millimeter, and that large one, the four millimeter that I was using. So this is the smaller, the one millimeter. And then you get that really pretty beaded mirror effect of the silver right away on the first time because it's a smaller surface area you know, rather than the dolphin. And that's why too getting the bottle of it is really nice because then you can dip. But like I said, you can even use this as your dotting tool. Just dip it and the paint and it already refills itself too when you push down on the tip so just have your palette close by and they are refillable pens too in case you were wondering you can pull these off and they sell the refills so this is great too because you can also if you're wanting to do kind of zen tangles or any kind of doodle on your artwork. You know, if you want to do a mandala that's like that. You can sketch out an outline in the silver. Or if you have your stencils, I mean you can stencil ahead of time and then really get what you want for your design, so this is the silver, Molotol, Molotow. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I will post the links for Amazon in the description here for you all. I'm making a mess today, but it's okay.
And this too, you know, the smaller ones are really great for more delicate work. On the other hand, you know, you're not really getting the full mirror. This is super shiny. I'm not going to lie, but when you're getting the mirrored effect is when you have a more solid area. So just the outlining, it will be shiny, but I don't know. It's a little bit pricey, so we probably don't want to waste too much of it on the outlining. <laughs> But just so you can see, it does work for that. And then you get a nice pretty little design there. You could fill that in with dots if you wanted. Or even you could color in certain ones if you wanted it shinier. Or even do some sort of inner outline so that you're just thickening it up a little so you can see that it's the shine. So they're really versatile, and they're fun to play around with, and I'm kind of obsessed with metallics, so when my, actually, I have to give most of the credit to my husband, because he is the one that found these for me and got them. But you can see that way too, there is, once you bulk up the paint a little bit, there you still get your mirrored effect. It just won't be as well seen in the, as visible in the smaller areas of the paint. There. Nice, fun, quick little mandala. All right. Well, I hope this is helpful for you all. And like I said, I really, really appreciate the patience in waiting while I had my surgery and other things going on in life. You guys have been amazingly patient. And there you go. Liquid chrome from Malto, and I will post the link again in the description. If you are new to my channel and would like to see other videos where I show you how to paint mandalas or bend your art tools or other various items that make our lives easier in this dotting world, painting, art world, whatever community you would like to be the craft community that we're in, <laughs> I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm also, um, on YouTube as much as possible. So if you are looking to subscribe, just click the subscribe button and you'll get notifications on when I do another video and they pop up when they are public. So I am happy to be working my way back to you all and I hope you are all doing well and I look forward to chatting with you all soon. Have a great night.